Hi, today I will show you how to make a Rubik's Cube in Blender 2.8. We are going to start with the default cube in this one. Press tab, I mean go to modifiers. Add then bevel modifier. And turn up the segments. You can also do this. Yes, not that much. Yup. Yup. Uh, go to tab. Oh, first we need to apply this. Tab and go to face select. Select this face. Shift select all these faces. I mean, why am I doing this? Ah, I need to do it. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Yes. And go to the materials. Turn the first one to full black. Add a material. new assign now if you go to render it will look like this and now it is just a square there we want it to be little like that to do that select have you selected all this i have selected and then change this to where is it In visual origins and now E and then S and then yes it will do nothing but it will add a little bit that or I cannot see now we have this and now control R wait first we need to add the colors Yes, this top color will be white and this let's put it blue first. Yep, add another color new and then blue. You can use this and assign. Now it's blue there. And now here will be red. I don't know. You can also see. See on a real Rubik's Cube from there. I am just thinking that this is red. Yes. A sign. Blue opposite is green. Add it. New. And this, this, this. And then assign. And red opposite is. You guessed it. Orange. Yes. Why was that a bit of a train? Why did I do? That was a train going by. Here it is again. And now here. Yes, yellow. New base color, you need to do G full and R full and blue zero and assign. Now it's too small, that's why we need to add loop cuts. Do control R, 
yes it will come here and now esc press esc and then change the number of loop cuts yes see here i want it to be five it's a really laggy yes i'll go with four and now control r and then esc change this to four now you are getting the curved kind of look yes yes see for enter yes now all the sides are done you can just where is the my first step add like that My computer's really slow. Let's change it to two. Yes, two and render to five. That would be good. And our Rubik's cube is done. Not much, but let's do this and now add an array modifier. Three count, copy, go to the bottom one, three, and then you need to do this zero, and the second one, two one. Yes, now we have a three by three, and again. Here is it, and now this to zero, and the last one to three, and now we have a oh lag, oh lag, oh I just changed this to three. I need it to be one. Oops. Yep. Now, just delete the lamp. Now it will be like this. It's not good. Go to the walls tab, color, and the little dot in the right side. Go to environment texture, and now open. Go to where you download an HDRI. I download it for um, HDRI Heaven. It looks good. And now we need to do is go to the first tab. Yes, film, and then transparent. Now it won't even read that. Yes. <sighs> And now we need to set the camera. And now we need to get an angle. Do shift F. You can walk. E to go up. Q to go down. And then WSD. Like you are in a game. Yes. I'll put it just here. Now do Control Alt Zero. I need to go back. Control Alt Zero. Yes. Select this. G Z. I bet up. And here is your Rubik's cube. It's so simple. In the next video, I will tell you how to animate it. So, for this video, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye!